Hey peeps, Amma here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how to balance between work and studying. Specifically for those students who are studying full time and working part time. If you are one of those or if you are thinking about working part time while you are studying full time, be sure to watch this video till the end. I have the honor to host Panache Makuhunga, who is a chemical engineering student at the University of Cape Town. He's also a sub warden as well as a math tutor, and he is also helping out in the computer lab as the computer lab assistant. Thank you so much, Panache, for making the time for this conversation, you know, helping us how to balance between work and, and studying. I understand you're doing a lot of studying, you're doing a lot of working, and <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great to have you on the channel. Thank you for joining me. No, thank you, Amo, for having me. Thank you. This, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. You're welcome. Before we can even talk about um, uh, how working students can balance work and and their, their studies, yeah. uh, what are some of the reasons that leads to students wanting to work while studying? I mean, isn't every person has their own reasons? Yeah. But like, in, in general, some of the general reasons could be one, you just want to earn some extra cash yeah. whilst you're at school, because maybe the parents aren't giving you enough to <laughs> <laughs> support the kind of lifestyle. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. either that, or you want to help out at home. There's that right? as well. They, you want to help out at home. Or some people just want to gain experience to be able to just feel what it's like to work while yeah, studying. Yeah. And then some others just want to fill their schedule, like they want to build their CV. Because I mean, now is the time to like build your career and things like that. And working while studying is one of the yeah. things that you can do to set you apart from just like getting good grades. It's important, but like <laughs> there's a point to which you need to solve your, you need to set yourself apart, and like yeah. getting that experience is something that's invaluable yeah. but of course like there may there are probably like many more reasons that i haven't touched on but like yeah. i'd say those are some of the general ones why people work we we'll want to work yeah. yeah but while studying i mean hello it's not <laughs> easy to work while studying <laughs> as soon as we study full time at a, uni at a university like the university of Cape Town. yeah because i understand they give quite a lot of work <laughs> the pressure is insane but like you just have to keep pushing it's, yeah. it's crazy yeah 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 so so you're saying it, it is in a way beneficial to consider um, you know working because of the reasons that you mentioned they sound like really great reasons to want to work you know mm -hmm. you know uh, now I want to ask you this question I've always just wanted to know about this um, would you recommend someone who is um, who has enough money you know enough money to to live enough money to pay for their you know for their fees at, at university to still consider working or do you rather would you rather recommend to just focus on their studies so that they can you know get those first class passes or would you still recommend that they work even if they have sufficient money no definitely like when you i've spoken to some industry professional like the people who do like interviews for different companies yeah and they're like when you come into industry, mm. it's great that you have great box. Like you can have 90s and everything and it's like, oh yeah, no, you, you did great, you GK, you know, you, you, <laughs> did, you, exactly, you did everything. <laughs> but then there's a, there's a point to which good grades become somewhat redundant. Like right. you, they'll be like, okay, in a pool of interviews, they can be yeah. like, we're taking people who have 65 and above. Mm. Which means if you have 70%, yeah. you and the person with 90 are in the same pool. Right. Now it's what else sets you apart? Did you bring it's to what else do you bring to the table? And working while studying gives you that experience of things that you could never yeah. experience while like so things like conflict resolution, especially yeah. in the workplace. We things exactly so they want to know can you can you actually can you handle are you how good are you at managing your time because yeah. if you're doing school you're not really school is everything that you do right but then what once about you other stuff beyond school exactly once you put work into it then mm. it's like okay are you able to balance those kinds of things and they're like yeah. different skills professionalism all those kinds yeah. of things are skills that you learn yeah um when you work not True. just while studying so exactly those skills are invaluable mm. when it actually comes to after your degree because after your degree obviously it's to get into industry and actually do what you studied for yeah exactly 
So that experience is absolutely yeah. incredible. But again, people shouldn't get us wrong. I know this is not what you're saying. You're not saying that it's not possible to work and um, to work and study, but while studying, we're not saying you can't get good grades. You can still get like okay. nineties yeah. while studying, while working, right? Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's very possible to get nineties, hundreds even <laughs> if, you want, if you want to. If you want to, because the art, like my maths tutor was, uh, I remember we wrote our first test for maths. Yeah. And he was like, what was the class average? You're like, no, the class average is, I think, I think the highest person, I think, no, he asked who, who was the highest person. Yeah. And he was like, we were like, no, it says 80 something. He's like, what? 80 yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, no, guys, we should be getting 90s. <laughs> Those kinds of things. And he was like, I was, I was able to get 99s when I was still doing this tutoring job and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So it is very much possible yeah. to yeah. to get amazing grades whilst working. Yeah, yeah. well, I can, I, I second you. I, I mean, I'm working and studying, and I still get great, well, good grades. Well, hence I'm part of Golden Key. <laughs> <laughs> when you mentioned Jack, I was like, yeah. yeah. So, so it's possible. It's I, possible. I said, yeah. So people shouldn't say, oh, if I work, I won't be able to get good grades. You can. It's just a matter of balancing, which I think you're gonna touch on later on. Yeah. You know? So um, these are only gonna just share with us how yeah. to balance yeah. those two and still get good grades. Um, I know you do quite a lot of work. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, which yeah. is really awesome, very yeah. inspiring. So just to find out, what value have you found in the jobs uh, that you're doing now as a student? It's there's something about working that's just fun. You know, something yeah. about yeah. firstly, there's, there's 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 an experience about there's there's that feeling that you get about being an independent, just being able to support yourself while right. you're at school. Mm -hmm. Where even if your parents are like, no, we don't have money for you this month, you know that I'm you can good. support yourself. Yeah. So there's that feeling yeah. that okay, I'm able to support myself, and that just gives you the motivation that like spreads into other aspects of your life, mm -hmm. school-wise even. You're more motivated to get that degree, you know, because you know that that degree will open avenues for this kind of feeling to continue growing. True. Right? Yeah. And you know the skills, of course. Like I mentioned before, those kinds of skills that you can't learn that you can't learn while just doing school. Mm. Those kinds of skills are very, very valuable because also they just seep into other areas of your life, even if they're not like work related. Mm. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be conflict resolution at work. It can be conflict resolution between you and your friends. Now you know how to manage it exactly. in, a, in a better way. Yeah. Those absolutely. kinds of things are are, yeah. are skills that are just invaluable to yeah. me. Right? To to just so those are the kinds of things where after working you you just enjoy, especially if you have you know, a nice set of colleagues to work with yeah. and everything. You even build relationships, build communications mm -hmm. such that even after university then you can you know, check it up and you say, oh, so how are you doing now? I'm yeah. doing this now with my life. Oh, yeah, you can even collaborate on like different exactly. projects in True, the future. With other people, yeah. And, and also, I mean, I, I've been studying, I don't know, I don't want to say almost my whole life, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not doing my PhD, so it's like almost my whole life. Yeah. But uh, I can. I, I can surely say that it's always good also to take a break from your studies and do something different. Yeah. And so this thing of working part time, it helps you to just move away a bit from your full time studies yeah. and do something rewarding, something you know where you know you're getting a little something as well. But at the same time, you're taking that break from your studies because then when you come back to your studies, you feel you feel a bit fresh yeah. in a way because yeah. you, you know. So that's it's, something that people can get as well from yeah. working. Even even if it's not like. Paid work, so because I feel like also like okay, true. Everyone when you when you when you say work, <laughs> everyone thinks yeah, no, you, need, you need to do yeah. something. But like also just even work that isn't voluntary, voluntary. Work, work is also it's, it's, yeah. quite important as well. Just for yourself, like I mean, it's yeah. it's always good to give back to community yeah. and like you know the people who are around you. That's also a very important, very important aspect of life. Mm. But also you know they. In terms of like, let's say industry work, mm. they also want to see that you care more about than just yourself. Like you care about other people. Yes, of course. You know, so that's also people should also consider giving back, know, giving back to the community because yeah. it's it's very important to yeah. see your community grow with you. That's you true. know, you just don't want to grow alone. Grow with your community. <laughs> grow with the people that are around you. That's important. That kind of work is yeah. extremely important as well. Yeah. Um. What kind of um, full time jobs? Let's say someone is watching this and they they're studying full time, but they're not working at all. They're not working part time. 
they're not volunteering, they're just focusing on their studies. But they're watching this video and they're thinking, wait, I think it will be great for me to take up some part-time job. Yeah. What kind of part-time jobs do you think they can take? Especially now, during the pandemic, you know, what kind of part-time jobs can they consider um, doing? Mm, the pandemic has <laughs> just slashed jobs. But like, to be honest, I feel like do any kind of work. Yeah? Any kind of work that you can get your hands on. Do it. Can be give examples. Waitering. Okay, give. wait, hold on. Waitering is, <laughs> depends is now with the pandemic. It d- depends now. Yeah. It depends now with the pandemic. But any yeah. kind of work that you can get. Mm. UCT always has these opportunities that you can if you're in a UCT oh, base, yes. UCT always provides and I'm sure every university I I would love to believe that almost every university yeah, in the that's world true. gives opportunities to students to just yeah. earn a little something, whether you work I know for UCT you can work at reception in the res, you can be a sub warden, you can be a work later. You, you can, can be part of the res. Yeah. So the list is really endless. Because anything that you can do, everything, only, the only thing that you need to consider yeah. is probably like how hectic your studies are. Ah. That's, that's something that's important because, as, as, for example, as much as you might want to work a job that mm. maybe you love something that you work maybe four hours every day a week you know if for example you're studying a degree like chemical engineering where like you know (laughs) you have to give it your all on a daily basis then Mm. that probably isn't going to work out great you know Mm. so that kind of consideration is also important you need to be realistic about like what you're studying can you are you able to handle it you know are you able are you going to be able to juggle both those kinds of things Mm. that's that's important okay so let's talk about what we've always been wanting to 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 find out Mm -hmm. the balance between work and Mm -hmm. studying how do you do it let's use here's an example you are doing it (laughs) and you are still sane Mm -hmm. and you still have time to lost my mind (laughs) you have (laughs) lost your mind so how do you do it how can people do it those who want to do it those who are thinking of studying and working and those who are already studying and working how do we balance between the two how do we I mean, obviously, first things first, there's no one size fits all, like in anything. I can't say, I do this and this and this and this, so this is what you need to do in order for you to be able to get yeah. anything done. Yeah. But there are always fundamental things that you need to get a grip of mm. in order for you to be able to get your life in order. So one, right? Work is important, you know, money is important, yeah. all those kinds of things are great, experience is great, but um, firstly, you need to consider why you're here. Right, that's you're here for the <laughs> You're here for the degree. Because you're studying full time, so your, your priority is the degree. Yeah, the priority yeah. has to be the degree. Yeah. Right. Make sure that your grades don't suffer a lot, don't fail. You know, get enough get good gpa you know try to get those grades try to balance like a fairly high gpa yeah yeah right or just barely pass it that's yeah that's if you want to get experience at least pass yeah right true. make sure that your studies are well taken care of after that time management is of paramount importance right and in time management you have to make sure that you give it in any time it's enough time so yeah. that you can do it properly. If you're gonna do your job, you need to make sure that you set t- you set enough time for that mm. so that you can give it your all. If it's academics, make sure that if you say that you're going to be studying for the next three hours, throw your phone away if it's a distraction, turn True. everything off. Yeah. Zone into your school, be in the zone. Right? Um time management, knowing so prioritize. Yeah. Right. That's Always it. know what is at the top of the list, what do I need to get done? Always write down if you ah, right. yeah if you depend on your mental just if you if you if you want to keep mental notes sometimes you forget things yeah and then always do like a daily check-in in terms of the things that you need to do right mm-hmm. if you are supposed to see the dentist write it down in your schedule yeah, that so you're going to see the dentist mm-hmm. you see the dentist from one till two after two we go do practice if you're doing sports just make sure that you yeah. give enough time for everything prioritize your time time management um say things that are important to balance rest rest is important right rest is important don't because then you're gonna get burnout you don't want to get, get burnout yeah because you you will get burnout <laughs> i 
I don't care who you are. <laughs> There's a point to which if you don't rest, yeah. your body will be like, you know what? Nah. Giving up. We, we've had enough. We're taking a break. <laughs> yeah. Whether you like it or you're not, your be... body will take its own break yeah. and you don't want to get to that point. Yeah. So rest. Get time to, you know, relax the mind. Because as much as you want to keep, 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 keep going, you are not a machine. <laughs> True. You're not a machine. As much as you might take everything yeah. and have the world on your shoulders, yeah. you're not a machine. So how do people learn to relax their minds? How do you relax your mind? Because I know that is important. Because you are studying, you are working, people need you. So you're in demand, but you've got your mind, you've got your body, you need to relax them. What do you do to do that? So that you come back energized. Daily. Put time aside to sleep a certain amount of time for me six hours is about enough time for me to sleep yeah six hours i'm good any more i feel tired any less i also feel <laughs> tired so six hours five and a half to six hours is about the sweet spot for me yeah so even if i have like a late night maybe until two yeah. make sure that i i unless of course i need to wake up earlier then of course I yeah. have. Yeah. And I'll try to compensate for that the following night. Mm. But mm. each and every night I try to aim six hours of sleep. Friday books away. Really? It's, it's like a like Friday. A I know it's a Friday. <laughs> the week has been crazy. <laughs> Friday, you put books aside. You put books aside from like six yeah. till I go to bed on a Friday. Okay. That's time aside. It I don't I, it doesn't I don't have to have specific plans. Yeah. It can be anything from just it could be sleeping. Yeah. It could be watching a series. As long as it's got nothing to do with books. Nothing to do with books. And nothing work is also done, school. right? Because yeah. work is Monday to Friday. Like, work is not on yeah. the way. You don't need to carry your work home, right? Not. There are days when, for example, like the business, right? Yeah. You have clients who come to you and be like, oh, we need our computers fixed or yeah. this kinds of thing yeah. that needs to be done. Yeah. Then when they ask you for the timeline, yeah. make sure that I always make sure that ah. I include my wrists. Like, if they're going to be like, I need it as soon as possible, like okay. Saturday, okay. end of Saturday. So that you know Friday you get that time. So that Friday I have time yeah. to rest. Unless I have something extremely pressing or maybe it's like a... Of course there are days in which like someone, for example, if it's a student who approaches me with like mm. a computer problem and they're mm. like, they need to get the assignment done. Yeah. Then of course there are those exceptions where I'm yeah. like, you know what, yeah. let me just do this for this person. Mm. But most of the time, mm. take time aside to rest. And then probably like every second... Or third weekend. Yeah. I have books aside as well. <laughs> okay, so, so you also work on weekends. Yeah. But then it also depends. That like you're saying, every second or third, that's when you say books aside. Third, so yeah. you need to just give yourself that time. It's important. Um, because like Cape Town, also if if you're in a, if for example, Cape Town is beautiful place. You want to enjoy it as well, right? You need to enjoy. <laughs> you need to enjoy the air, the ocean, the food. Because like. The cuisine is crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. There's always yeah. that. So, so you say from what I'm getting here is that now we want to balance work and studying, but then what is going to help us here is also relaxing. Because yeah. how are you gonna work? How are you gonna study if you are not refreshed? Yeah. If you are not looking after yourself? Yeah. So you need to create that time to yourself so you can still be able to balance. Otherwise, you without being refreshed, without being energized, you're not gonna be able to even do any of the two. Yeah, you need to. Because obviously there are days when there are days when you're gonna get tired. <laughs> That's it. If yeah. you keep taking, they're gonna. There are genuine days. I just my alarm rings and I just lay in bed. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You I'm can't gonna, do it anymore. I just wanna continue sleeping. Yeah. So just discipline. Oh, that's another one as discipline well. Discipline yeah. and just being able to persevere. Yeah. On days when it's absolutely insane, when you don't, when you just feel like you wanna curl up in your blanket and binge the yeah. entire day yeah you just have to persevere yeah but how, how else do you do you keep going tell us is it does health also and then like diet does diet play a role as well how diet. what keeps you going share with us okay, okay. so diet being in res i mean being in a catering res okay yeah you're not you're not really in control. Okay, because they but I'm sure diets. it's balanced. It is it is a balanced diet. I mean you get the the starch, the vitamins, the protein. The protein. <laughs> so of course balanced diet is important. Exercise is important. Oh yeah, that yeah. Pushing thirty minutes to an hour of exercise each and every day, which is what is recommended by most if you look at like medical insurance they always yeah. ask you, do you exercise? Do you put in some physical exercise? Yeah. That's important. Physical exercise 
balanced diet. Um, what else do I think? What else do I do on a daily basis for me to keep sane? <laughs> Besides the food, the exercise, and just a positive mindset always. Oh it's, yeah, you just, that is important. You just have to, cause like what inspires you? What what positive? How do you get to have positive mindset? Do you just wake up like yo, all the positive vibes comes in? Or you need to find the positivity? Is it music? Do you read on positive codes? Music is a feel good definitely. <laughs> I wake up to each day when I wake up and I'm about to start my day, whether I'm about to go shower in the shower, <laughs> I'm getting ready to I'm packing my bags, yeah. I'm changing. Yeah. Music has always been like a feel good type of gets me in the mood. But also yeah. just like pushing yourself, you know like there were studies that are just when you yeah. when you validate yourself, you're like, you know what? I can do this. Yeah. I'm smart enough to do this. I'm capable enough to do this. I've got the motivation to do this. Yeah. Let's go get then it. Then you can do it. Then you. It's. It's like. Yeah. I don't. I was reading on the scientific study where they were like. Yeah. Those kinds of things are very important. If you wake up with the ah, we have to do this every day. <laughs> then uh, you're not really gonna be productive. Then are you? it's it affects it's your productivity. Duty, yeah. It affects everything that you do. Even if you if you wake up. Shoulders out, you wake up with it. Yeah, no, yeah. we can do this. Yeah. That those kinds of things automatically help boost yeah. your motivation to just continue going through and you keep pushing. Yeah, wow, Panache, <laughs> you are awesome. So, okay, thank you so much, really, for, for sharing these this tips. I'm really hoping that they're going to help someone out there who is working and studying, really or hope. someone who's considering to work and, and study. And I also just want to tell the audience that if they have any sh any tips, really, they want to share on how they do it for those yeah. who are already working and studying, mm. they can leave those tips in the comment section below. And also yeah. if they have questions for you, yeah. you know, let's say they have questions, they want to know more about how you do it as well, yeah. they can leave a comment uh, below. Yeah. And, and yeah, if, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to sure. give this video a thumbs up. 